online money the Monday today? Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> Hi, Cat Country. All I've got to say about that marijuana is uh, all we need is a bunch more potheads driving around on the streets. Well, there's none now, sir, because it's illegal. <laughs> I, I said more. The keyword was more. Look, you need to pull over anybody doing 17 in a 35 because they're high. Hi, Cat Country. I was down in Colorado recently for work, and this gal that was trying to help us at Wendy's asked us three times if it was to stay or to go. And her eyes were two glassy marbles in her skull. No, we don't need recreational pot in Montana. Huh. Well, either that or she just needs to work at the drive up window, so there's no question. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. When pitchers are younger now, they, they're they very protective of good pitch pitchers, mm-hmm. and they don't let them get the work in that they need yeah. because they're saving their arm. And then they get to Major League Baseball, then it's a business. Right. And you go out there, and then you have to throw 100 pitches. And these guys in their youth... Uh, after they got up to 60, 70 pitches, if they had a very, very promising future, they didn't want them thrown. Remember when Strasburg came into the league? Yep. They limited him mm-hmm. on the amount of pitches that he would throw initially. And they wanted to bring him up slowly. And then after he started throwing 100 pitches, wham, his elbow went out. Yep. You know, look at look at guys. Look at guys. Uh, Cy Young. Mm-hmm. 511 wins. Hey, how many people out there that are our age, 50 or more, who played baseball growing up, and you had one kid with a rocket arm, he threw every pitch all season? Yeah, yeah. You know, my arm is still in good shape. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got to tell you. <laughs> Which was the point of the you story? Know, being a graduate of <laughs> Blow It By You. <laughs> That's the point I was trying to get to. But I, I've, never, I've never had elbow problems. No. So... You know, but thanks for bringing that up, Mark. Here for you, buddy. From the Weather Center today. <laughs> Gone but not forgotten. That arm is there if we need it. That's right. Mostly sunny. <laughs> and this trigger finger never goes bad. And it's on the same arm. <laughs> yeah, it's funny you would try a beer because you, you don't have the same approach for foods. It's something, you know, ugh. I'm better than I used to be. Yeah. But I like steak. Mm-hmm. And when I go out, if we go out to some place that's got steak, mm-hmm. I'll have the steak. Yeah. Even even if it's a place that's not necessarily known for its steak, yeah, I'll have steak. But if there's like a a stuffed steak with mushrooms and some kind of sauce on it, mm-hmm. you'll go, ugh. <laughs> I'm not going to try, even though I love steak, I'm not going to try that steak. Well, a lot of times what I have to do, Paul, is I'll, I'll drink different beers because they don't have the brand of beer I like. So you're forced to do it sometimes. Mr. Wilson, <laughs> hold it. You are forced. Yeah, I, you better drink a beer or you're getting it. Yeah, you know you're right, Mark. You know what's great about this job even after all you know, these years? You know you're it's right. It's great working with my grandmother. That's right. Okay, all right. I'm going to start picking everybody off one at a time unless Wilson has a beer. The lives I've saved, right. too numerous to even consider. You're right, Mark. You were forced to I probably to have, saved you a bunch of times. What are you complaining you about? You were forced to have that. What was it called? A wheat burger or something? What was it? Do you listen to nothing I well, say? It was a wheat something. Himmelburger. Himmelburger. So my first car was a 75 Ford Maverick that my dad and I um, built the engine together. So... Nice. Good memories Loved there. it, but it kind of scared me being so young that it was a little too fast for me. Yeah. So, and in the winter, I hated it because it wouldn't start right away. You had to go out and start it and let it run for a while. Oh, really? God, yeah. that must be terrible. I know. <laughs> John, you poor thing. I mean, uh, I no. hope you... Are you seeing a counselor <laughs> now because uh, of that? No, I'm oh. good now. Okay, good, good. Well, I'm seeing a theme today. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you're over that. <laughs> oh, my God. Good memories. My first car was a 66 Chevy Impala, and I I wanted a little uh, Camaro, but my dad wouldn't buy it for me. He bought me this Impala, and my brother had it, and he had painted it cherry red with a can of paint. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was sweet. Instead yeah. of a cherry red 
Nero, I got a little impala. Yeah, have you ever gotten over the fact that your dad didn't buy you a brand new car? <laughs> I mean, what? is that something you're going to carry with you My for the father. rest of your life? <laughs> hated me. Camaro hater. Okay, you can get over it now. All Comes right. amid escalating pressure on the technology industry to hire more minorities and women. See? That's discriminatory. No, no, it's not. Not anymore, Mark. You, you know, it's, it's not about who's the most qualified for the job. It's not based on merit or production. It's based on who you are, what color you are, your gender, everything. It all has to be equal and fair now. Well, if that was the case, then why didn't we hear this last week? Mm -hmm. And in the second round, the Dallas Cowboys will be selecting a white player because they don't have as many. Yeah, exactly. It's the same thing. <sighs> you know, and the people that support that kind of thing, you should say, well, you have to have a very complicated heart surgery. Now, <laughs> what we don't have exactly the best doctors here. Right. But what we do have is an equal number of men, women, and minority doctors, uh -huh. of which you will get one of those. Right. Well, no, I want the best doctor based on his... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is fair. We have to let... These surgeons get it right. 85% of the time. And chances are you're going to get one of those. It sounded like a fairly serious deal this week, but a judge in L.A. urged authorities to find out where Casey Kasem was, and it turns out he was fine. They found him in Washington State. A day after the judge ordered resources to track him down, he and his wife were staying with friends. Kasem is 82. Daughter says he has dementia. Kasem is best known for his countdown shows. Daughters are concerned because his health is failing and they're not in the will that's the main one they're not in the will so now all of a sudden they want to be part of their dad's life how do you feel about that dad <laughs> too late <laughs> it's done deal <laughs> maybe you should have thought of that when i was farming all by myself <laughs> Trying to put up hay all by myself. <laughs> you were at the volleyball tournaments and I was on the tractor. <laughs> Too late, Casey. Isn't going to do it. <sighs> the birthdays today is Janet Jackson. She turns 48. And you know how, uh, how you used to complain about how your sisters used to sing to you and it yeah. drove you crazy? Yeah. When my nieces were both younger, both, you know, less than 10, whenever I was home in Great Falls, Uncle Mark, please, can we listen to something on the radio besides that cowboy music? Can we listen to one of our stations? So I would, but I said, when we do that, I'm going to sing with some of the songs. So I'd sing with the Janet Jackson song, and it just horrified them. No, my first name ain't baby. baby. It's Janet. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. Mole finished the season with 7,359 points, and he beat Portland State. And uh, he's a great track athlete up there. Carly McCutcheon only lost by 10. Uh, she's a pretty good egg, too. Yeah. Today, the long jump competition. Look for the Montana State Bobcats to take first in that. I happen to know someone in that. You know, I don't have the video, but I heard last night, I guess there were some uh, really amazing things that... Happened in the hot tub down there. Oh, that, really? That kid is an athlete, man. Oh, really? <laughs> That's what I heard. Is that so? <laughs> well, I'd like to see that video there. Well, that's uh, that's breath control yeah, right there. Okay, <laughs> whatever, jerk <laughs> face. <laughs> Highway Patrol is looking for a man who ran away after being hit by a pickup on I-90 on an on-ramp near Billings. The driver of the pickup reported a young man ran in front of his truck. About 5.40 Thursday, the teen got back up, ran away when the driver said he would call police. 17-year-old male, shaggy brown hair, light facial hair. Um, he's got a dog named Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Wearing a <laughs> well, really, when you think about it, known associates include Daphne. He, uh... You couldn't touch anything up there for under four million, probably. I know it, and only get a thousand acres. Yeah, but not enough to make a living on. Yeah, or I know. Yeah, but I just had to laugh because I think it's a great. I mean, I I think we should all dream about. Yeah, that, it's but... okay to dream, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. All right. Go ahead, so thanks. Goodbye. 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 Good laugh. Bye. <laughs> 23 after 6 o'clock. I'm glad she got a laugh at my expense. Well, Paul, 
If it's any consolation, you'll get your Lewistown farm about the time I get my big house with lakefront acreage up there at Flathead. So Yeah, right next to a Hooters. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't know that was for sale. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. yeah. 